So I've gone ahead and done a couple of things in this uh, part. So here's your gain switch that I've just soldered in. And this one will be your on off button because it's right next to the power here. And this one is going to be your input. It's uh, number J2. So all uh, and also your potentiometer, which is your volume switch. So all these things are pretty simple, just to solder straight in, they clip straight in. And if we have a look at the other side, uh, they'll fit perfectly in to all the holes that are just here. Uh, so solder them up. The only thing to remember is for the potentiometer, you want it towards the front. So there are some more um, holes here. I've used these front six, which is what I need with this potentiometer. Okay, so the next thing I've done here is I've just wired in the three channels, well, the two channels in the ground that I need for the head, uh, headphone jack, the 6mm headphone jack. Um, so I've gone with uh, blue as the ground here. And then I've got a left and right channel. Um, so if you can just see here how that's fed through, you're going to have a hole. There's about there's four holes here, and you're going to have this one just here left empty. So, so the way I've wired up this jack is with the blue ground just on top there. So there's that flat base, you rotate it once, you've got your blue ground, you rotate it again, you've got, got your white left channel, and you rotate it a third time, and you have your orange right channel. Yep. Okay, so what I've done here is, I've finished soldering in these lines here, which are basically the same as this here. So the left channel is white, then you've got in the middle that blue ground and then you've got the orange right channel so you've got three holes just there up the back and then you can solder these in if you look closely it's actually got left right channels marked on the board there and then that one just across the other side is the, the blue one is the ground one thing to note when you're soldering in the ground wire, it has a very large uh, plane, grounding plane, which means when you apply heat to it, it'll take a lot longer to heat up and for the solder to wet than these two, connect, uh, these two connections here. So you might have to put the, solder, uh, the soldering iron on that for a bit longer just to get it heated up to the right temperature. Um, to make the right connection and then I've also just threaded this uh, um, nylon nut through here so you can see there it kind of suspends the board above the uh, DAC above the amp board and then we've soldered in one of these battery connectors just to stop it from moving back when you uh, apply pressure to it when you're plugging it in So what I've done here is I've screwed in my AC power, you can see that all the way through there, you just tighten that nut up on the back, uh, and then I've prepared two larger gauge wires than the wire that I've been using with the rest of the board, you can see the difference there, might not be as obvious but until you actually look at the copper inside, but it's a, it's a larger gauge wire. Um, and then I've soldered that to the two prongs that are sticking out of the power here and I've added some uh, liquid glue just to make sure that uh, nothing can interfere with that or short that out uh, and that's insulated now so if you don't have this then you can just use some electrical tape um, 
and that should do just fine. So the next step now is to connect this to the board. So we're going to solder it in here and here, these two holes just here. And it doesn't matter which way it goes because this is uh, AC current. Um, so let's do it. All right, so once you've got that power soldered in, you're going to want to flip the board around. Just carefully. And you're going to want to solder in just a bare piece of wire to this contact here. And then take that and bend it forward. The reason being is uh, when you have an amp and DAC combo, you need to ground your circuit. Just focus this camera up. Right, yeah, so you're going to need to ground your board. So what we'll do is, once we finish pushing this through into the housing, which looks like this, uh, we're going to grind out one of these screw holes here just on the top and remove the paint and then we're going to actually make that touch and contact it just as a ground all right so now that we've got the board slotted in on the on that bottom rung there we've got this piece of wire here and our ground out uh, screw hole so we'll do what we'll do is we'll just bend that down a little bit and just loop it around this screw like that. I'll get my pliers in there and, and curve that around a bit better. But uh, you can kind of already get the idea as to what we're going to do here. There we go. You can clip off the excess there, but that's going to uh, just be sandwiched in there between the two plates. There we are. 